G'day, how's it going? My name's Max from League of Earthlings and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I think this is episode 5069. Uh, feels like we've been doing this years. But uh, we haven't, we've only been doing it m months I think. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So we've come back to Blackwater. In the last episode we finally met Dutch who is uh, Marston's ex-boss. Uh, he turned out to be a bit of a bastard. Uh, he hauled up the uh, bank and then we trailed him back to the forest but unfortunately we didn't kill him. Uh, the bugger escaped. So we're going to come back and see this guy, I think he's MacDougall. Uh, I think he's a pom. So yeah, we'll go and see him. I think we're only allowed to see him at 7 but it looks like we've got his little icon here. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and see what this bugger's got to say. Uh, yeah, good day, dog. That's a dingo, isn't it? Right, let's do it. Hope you're doing well, guys, and I hope you enjoy the episode. There he is. Super incredible. Jesus, he looks Hello, like Professor. he needs to eat a couple Hello, doner kebabs. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How yeah, he's a pom. Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case <laughs> oh, yeah. for my theory of natural population characteristics. Don't think they get on the palms and the yes, Scots, do they? white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. <laughs> They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Jesus, what's he wearing? Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? What? Well, he's going to have cocaine? Right this minute, no. Oh, it's a remarkable drug. <laughs> it entirely restores the ego. Uh, All right, he's going to shoot up. State. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <laughs> what a bloody weirdo. I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply. In <laughs> savages? No, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. So this guy was Nastas, wasn't it? He was the informant who he rescued off that uh, wreckage ship. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. Right, okay. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. All right, we're taking the English guy as well. Okay. Right, where's Colin? Is this I'm here he is? Bit for humanity, Mr. Let's Marston. go, Colin. Follow me. Okay. Let's go. Off we go. We're going to go and try and get Dutch again. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland. You got to kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderland fascinates me. A Come white on. man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I haven't found I was going to say, I haven't got a clue what he's talking he's about, but I don't so think he does either. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes. Jesus, he goes on a bit, this guy, doesn't he? Oedipus communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. 
I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Jesus. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. Buffalo are going off the tits, the then. Man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction I think is he, a myth, uh, you speaks a lot more sense than you, fella. don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. <laughs> right, I suppose there's uh, some logic in there. I, I don't know. But uh, I'm not too sure what we're taking this English guy. He's, uh, unless he's going to bore him to death, I don't know. But... It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? <laughs> I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Hopefully a bird will get him or something. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, mister. Yeah, you can kind of tell he doesn't get out much. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. I'm right, anger. it's bloody snowy. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Jesus, Don't right, so we're getting up in the mountains a bit. Right, so hopefully we'll get our hands on Dutch. Yeah, hell, those wolves are still following us. So yeah, I think it's right up north, isn't it? We're heading. Hence the uh, the white stuff. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Right. Okay. Jesus, we're gonna go climbing. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for highs. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastasia... Yeah, he's a bit of a jags to this guy, isn't way. he? I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, what the bloody hell did he come for? Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving, Bizarre. mister. Okay. Right, let's get climbing. Oh, he's going to give us a little uh, knee up. A little bunk up. Right, okay. Up you come, fella. Look at Marston, he's in absolute chest, isn't he? He's a manly man. So it looks like this is where Dutch is uh, hiding out. Oh, bloody hell, it's a bit rickety. Damn. Oh, that's not good. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. Oh, I great. Have a look around. Ah, right, okay. So we've got to make our own bloody way. Oh, I see. So we get little icons to help us. I think that's for idiots like me <laughs> who don't know what they're doing. Uh, how do you bloody climb? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, it's square, yeah. Okay. Up you go, fella. Shimmy about. I'll just go, uh, yep. Yeah. Over there, drop down. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, can we get up? Oh, cool. Right, beauty, we'll go up here. Up you go, fella. Okay, so we're getting there. Jesus, what was that? Is that a beaver? That may have been a little beaver. I do like beaver. Okay, is this him over here? Right. I think there's a path through this cave. Right, let's take it. No, there's not a bloody burr in it. I'll just get my uh, gun ready, just in case. 
I still haven't bought a be better gun. Uh, I did say I was going to do you that. But, uh, some time. This doesn't look good, does it? Oh great, there's the dynamite in it as well. <laughs> it's a nice mix, isn't it, in a cave? Big box of dynamite. We'll keep up with this fella. Seems to know where he's going. Is it a dead end? This way. Oh right. He's a very uh, excitable chap, isn't he? Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ. Looked a little bit like Seth. What's up with this guy? Dynamite! Get out oh, of here! Oh Jesus! Bloody hell! Right. Right. Okay. So, oh, Jesus Christ! Right. Let's hey, there's one up here somewhere. Beauty. Right. We got him. Jesus, that was a bit close. This guy's not too good, I don't think. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. Yeah, you I'll take it easy, fella. Or see you on the way down. Right. Okay. Don't worry about me. Okay. Go for Vanderlind. Good luck. Thanks very much. Very pleasant chap. Hopefully he's still alive when we get back. Right. Prime the rest of the wall. Right, up we go. Oh, a little rabbit. Are they like rabbits? Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Now, I don't know if that was his arse or if that was a burr. Oh, but that didn't sound good. Oh Jesus, I don't think it's his ass. Uh, I think I might get a big gun out. Yeah, I can hear a burr. I don't know if he's down there or if it's where we're going. Oh Jesus, is that it? Is that the bird? Yeah. My oh, boy. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay, so that's alright. Right, we'll skin him. And uh, use that later for tea. Let's make this quick. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a lovely jump. Try again. Yeah. Right, okay, so we're getting higher. Let's make our way around here. You better be up here after all this. It's going to be bloody knackered. Ah, uh, this doesn't look good, does it? What's that over there? Is that a wolf? I think. It oh God, it's a cougar. I think it is, isn't it? Oh. 
Yeah, that was a Koga. Right, we'll have him as well, and we can have some Koga chops with our bird chops tonight. All right, we're going back this way, aren't we? Must be the way, mustn't it? Around here, and climb up again. I've got to climb up here, I think. Yeah. Up we go. I just saw the yellow uh, icon then. I thought, bloody hell, should be going the other way. Up you go. Right, yeah, it's just like these ledges here, isn't it? Jesus, I should have put another uh, cardigan on. It looks bloody cold up here. Yep, keep going, bloody hell. Up you go. down for him. It's nice and easy Max, we don't want to fall off. Right, okay, we're nearly there, there's our little icon. Okay, so we made it. We'll leave someone waiting for him and just bloody kick him off. Right, so I've got this little bugger on the lookout. Do our little uh, poo squat. Right, okay, we'll try and get him. Oh, I can do a thingy, can't I? That one, bloody hell. Right. Lovely. What have we got here? Get the binoculars right. There's a guy. Jesus, where did he come? He looked like he uh, peed from his arse then. There's a bit of magic for you. Ah, uh, right, so it is Dutch. Oh, Jesus. It's a lovely guy. Oh, dear. Looks like his binoculars have now become a telescope. Come on, Marston. Wake up. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Jesus, Get stuff you, away. you thought you'd you banged died him. and gone to hell waking Nastus up and seeing and these two. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them. And try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. <laughs> he took to lying with choir boys. Bloody hell. 
You are a very stupid man. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. Yeah. Jesus, imagine going for a bit of these two. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> right. Right, okay, what a strange bloody mission. So we got up to the base and then, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a copy. Good day, copper. Officer, I do apologize. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we've got left on the map. So, right, yeah, there was a bit of a strange one, wasn't it? So we made it all the way up. And then he, uh, he shot us in the binoculars, so to speak. And that was it. So, yeah, that was a really strange mission. Okay, so what have we got left here? So there's nothing at the minute. Something will come back though, so I wonder if it'll be uh, MacDougall or something. Yeah, so MacDougall's appeared again. He seems to be the only one. So we'll head back to him next time. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. It was a bit of a weird one, uh, doing all that climbing, and it was to no avail. So that was a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a bugger. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I hope we see you next time. I do upload daily, so if you do like this sort of content and you would possibly consider subscribing, that would be absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, until next time, uh, take care and I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.